Hey everyone, welcome back to another video. My name is Wyatt and today I'll be teaching you how to script a group rank bot on Roblox. Okay, so just a fair warning before I do wind up showing you how to make this. This is going to be a full uncut video of exactly each step you have to do to make this kind of bot. It's a very advanced script, but if you follow along with my steps, you can get this done and have an awesome bot for your group. Okay, so all a group rank bot is, is a way for us to interface with the Roblox group API so that if we want to have an application center, a discord bot, a rank management center, and all of these things that can rank players in your group, we need a group rank bot. So this is going to be a little more advanced, but I'm going to guide you through step by step, so please just stick with me. So the first thing that we're going to do is we're going to launch a new window. I have an incognito window, and we're just going to go to the Roblox website. Now, you don't want to be signed into your account, you want to be not signed in. And right now what we're going to do is we're going to create a new account and this is going to be the account that ranks all of the players in our group through our rank bot. This is going to be our rank bot Roblox account. So I'm just going to set in my birthday, I'm going to set a fake birthday because I don't want to reveal my real birthday. And I just suggest setting it to over 18 so that the bot does not have safe chat. And then I'm going to choose a username for a bot. This can be anything that you'd like. In my case, I'm going to name this Roscriptor Rank Bot because that's what it is. It's our Roscriptor Group Rank Bot. And I'm going to set a password for our bot. Okay. And um, let me actually just make it something a little more memorable, just like that. So make sure you can remember this password because you will need to log into this account again. Uh, and then set a gender. It doesn't really matter. I'm just going to send it to mail because. Well, that's my gender, so that's how I'm going to do it. Uh, and then I'm just going to click sign up. Now, what you want is, so you want to complete the CAPTCHA. There's sometimes there may be this little thing that comes up. And it can be a little frustrating sometimes, but you just have to rotate it until the animal is facing at the top. And this is just how you create an account in Roblox. This is how they do it. Uh, and then after you complete it, you just want to make sure you get it right. And then you'll have a new account on Roblox that will be doing all of the ranking things for your group. Now on this account, you want to join the group that you want the ranking to happen on. So you do need a group for this to work. Um, so I'm just going to use our Roscriptor group, our Roscriptor fan group. Uh, so if I go to that, this is the Roscriptor group. And I'm just going to join it on this account. I'm going to join it on this rank bot account. And it's going to prompt us with another one of these. They're called fun captures, And they're just to make sure you're a human and you're not a bot. Even though this is a bot, you are a human controlling it right now. So you do have to complete these. So let me just rotate these until I get all the way through. And there we go. And once we join, what we're going to do, so we're a member rank, we need to log out of this account. And then we not need to log into the account that's the owner of this group or an, a rank in the group that actually has ranking power. So I'm going to log into my main account just like this. And what I'm going to do is I'm going to set the rank, see, because the user joined the group. I'm going to set the rank of this user to a rank in the group that has ranking permissions. So if I go click on these three dots and then I click configure group. All we have to do is click on members and then we find our bot. We can search for it, but it's right here. And I'm going to set it to admin. And the reason I'm setting it to admin is because as you can see, if we click on the roles panel right here, and then we click on admin, you want to make sure that the role that you rank it to has permissions to lower manage lower rank members ranks. So I'm going to check this off right now. And as long as it's checked off, this bot will work. And as long as the rank of the bot is actually set to this role. So now that we have this, we're going to want to log out of this account again, and we're going to want to go right back into that other account that we had. So we named this one Roscriptor Rank Bot, and I'm just going to log into it with that password I created earlier. And we have to complete this capture once again. We'll just rotate it a little bit and rotate it again, just like that. Okay, now we're back in this account. So now what we need to do is go to this other website. This website's called Glitch, and don't worry, it's not going to give a glitch in your computer or anything. It's just the name of the website. And this is where our API, our access point for this bot is going to be hosted. So Glitch does us a favor and does this for 100% free. Um, but I suggest if you want your bot to be a little bit more powerful and you want to add some more features to it, I suggest you purchase the premium version of Glitch. But for now, we're just going to use the free version because we can. Um, 
So all I'm going to do is I'm going to click sign in on this glitch page and then I can sign in with Facebook, with GitHub, which is a programmer thing, Google, or you can do email magic link. You can choose whichever one you want, but I want to create an account. I don't want to sign in. And then again, you can choose whatever one you want to create your account with. I'm going to say create with Google and I'm going to type in my email just like this and click next. And now I'm going to type in my email password just like this. If it's a Google account, again, you can sign in with whatever you'd like. And now we have a glitch account and this is where our project is going to be hosted. So as you see, this is a panel. It might be a little bit confusing, but I'll guide you through everything you're going to need to know. So what we're going to do is we're going to come up to the top right next to this upgrade button right here and to the left of our profile. And we're going to click the button that says new project. And we're not going to do hello web page. We're going to do the one that says hello dash express. So the second option down. It's very important that you choose that one for this to fully work. And as you see, it has a name right here. This name is going to be different for you because it randomly generates a name. But you just want to click on this arrow right here next to the glasses. And you're going to name this something. You're going to name this project anything that you'd like. So for now, I'm just going to name it Row Scripter Rank Bot. That's going to be the name of our project. Now you see we have all these different files over here. It might be confusing if you're not a programmer, but all you have to do is select the last one that says server.js. And in the description, I have a link to a paste bin. It's actually right here. This is the link to it right here. And this has all of the code that you're going to need to paste in so you don't have to write anything out. So all we're going to do is we're going to copy this, control C, and command C if you're on Mac, control C if you're on Windows. And then we're going to go back to that tab and then we're going to press, we're going to highlight from the bottom. So from line 35 up to the top, and then we're going to delete all of that. And then we're going to press control V on windows, command V on Mac, and we're going to paste in all of that code. Okay. Now what we're going to do is we're going to, we have to install something called the noblocks.js library. And don't worry if you don't know what that is, it's super easy to install. All we have to do is you see right here where it says server.js, the one that we're currently selected. We have to go up one and we click on the package.json file, JSON. And then we click on the add package arrow up top right here next to format this file. And then all we're going to search for is we're going to type in N O B L O X period J S. And the first one right here that comes up, you just want to click on the text that says noblocks.js. And then you'll just wait for it to load. It's going to take a second. Give it a minute. You want to wait until this loading sign at the bottom goes away. We just have to wait for it to fully install. Okay, as you can see, it's set back to tools and there's no longer the loading sign. So what we're going to do is now we're going to go back to this one right here that says server.js. We're going to click on that. And as you can see right here, there's some gray text at the top and gray text below it. This is all of the code that you need to edit. Of course, you can do more if you'd like to, but this is the only thing that you're going to have to edit in this glitch website. So the first thing right here is the var group ID and it says replace one, two, three, four, five with your group ID. So the way we get our group ID is if we click on groups, since we're logged into that account, right? We go back to Roblox and click on groups. And then this is the group that we want the ranking to take place in. All we're going to do is we're going to double click the number up top where it says slash groups and right, right next to the name. This number right in here, we don't want to take any slashes, just the number. We're going to press control C or command C on Mac to copy. And then we're going to go back to the glitch page, the glitch project. And then we're going to double click on one, two, three, four, five. And then we're going to paste what we have on our clipboard right there. And that'll set up the group ID. Now what we have to do is use the cookie. And this cookie allows glitch. It allows our bot to log into this account, not your main account, into the bot account that we just created so that it has ranking permissions. So what we're going to do over here is we're going to right click on the page and we're going to click inspect. And you see, so it'll come up like this. I know it looks really confusing. Don't worry, you don't have to worry about anything that comes up here. All you have to do is click on this tab right here. It might be over here. It might be somewhere else on your page where it says application. You want to click on that. And then right here, as you can see, it says name, value, and domain. 
you want to look through these values through the name values and see where it says period R O B L O security. And after that comes up, you see the value tab. So wherever the value column is for that, you just want to double click on that. And then I'm just going to right click and I'm going to click copy. And then I'm going to go back to this project. I'm going to go back to the glitch website. And then inside of these double quotes right here, I'm going to right click and then I'm going to click paste. Whoops, I don't think I copied it right. Let me go back. So I'm going to double click. And then since I'm on Mac, I'm going to press Command C, but you can press Control C if you're on Windows. And I'm just going to press Command V because I'm on Mac, but if you're on Windows, you can press Control V. And that's it. We have this glitch project completely set up. We don't have to worry about it anymore. Now what I'm going to do is I'm going to click Show right here. This button, we have one more step. So right next to these glasses, we're going to click Show and then we're going to click in new window. Okay, so that's all we have to be on Glitch so far. Now what we're going to do is I'd like you to pull up in the description. I have another pastebin link called the Roblox script link. I want you to pull that up. I want you to pull up this pastebin because we're going to use it very, very soon. Now I want you to launch Roblox Studio. If you're on Windows, you know, you can go to the launch menu or do it any way you'd like. And I just want you to create a new base plate. I'm sure you know how to do that. I already have one created just like this. And then what I want you to do is publish the game if you'd like to, or you can just keep it as a base plate. And then this button right here that says game settings, click on that. And then you see we have all these tabs right over here. Click on the options tab. And now when you first start up your game, it's going to say off. This is going to be checked off. All I want you to do is come over here and click the on button. So you want to turn on HTTP requests and then you're just going to click save. Don't press cancel. I already have it set. So I have to press cancel, but just press save. Now what we're going to do is actually we have to do this from a server script, but anytime we want to rank a player in the group, we have to run the following code that I'm going to put in. So I'm just going to create a server script under server script service and I'm going to name it ranking script just like this. And in here, I'm going to delete the line that says print hello world. And as I said before, we do have that, right? We have that paste bin link up with all this code. All I'm going to do is I'm going to highlight from the bottom. And I'm going to go all the way up to the top and I'm going to copy that, right? Control C on Windows, Command C on Mac. I'm going to go back to Roblox Studio and I'm going to paste that into the script. Okay. So I'll let you do that. Let's give you one sec. Awesome. Okay. Now what we're going to do is we're going to go back to our Google Chrome tab and then you remember this so you should have a tab right here that says error, the one that we opened a new tab from the glitch project. We're going to click on that and it should say cannot get slash. We're going to go to the URL, right? The link up top. You're going to click on it and highlight all of it, right? Just click on it just like that. And then you're going to press control C on Windows, command C on Mac, copy it. We're going to go back to Roblox Studio. I, you know, I'm on Mac, so it'll be a little different, but you guys know how to get back to Roblox Studio. And then right here where it says glitch URL in the rank script, right in between these quotes right here, just press control V or command V and it'll paste in the URL. And that's all you have to do for the top of the script. Now, all we have to do is it's almost ready to rank. All we have to do is specify the user of who we want to rank and the role that we want to rank them to. So depending on your situation, maybe if it's an application center, you'd have this in a pass script. You'd have this in a script uh, that when the player passes, maybe you have it in a command script. So when a user runs a message command, you can put this code wherever you'd like and it'll work wherever. So if you want to get the player.user ID and use that, you can use it. If you want to get role ID from a variable, you can use that. You can use it however you want, but you just need these two values. So in my circumstance, I'm going to go back here and I'm just going to go to the row scripter group once again, and we're just going to select a test user that we're going to rank. So this is my friend right here. His name is Brown Conga. We're going to click on him. And just because we're hard coding this in, we're specifying the user ID. I'm going to copy his user ID, but you would get whatever player is in the game that you want to rank. And all I'm going to do is I'm going to paste that in where it says replace one, two, three, four, five with user ID. Right. And again, if you have a ranking center or you have rank management or anything like that, uh, if you're a scripter, that's awesome. I'm sure you know how to do this. Set the variable. 
If not, you can always reach out to me on Discord and I can help you set this up. The Discord link for um, my server is in the description. But you just want to set the user ID of the player that you're looking to rank. And then the role ID. The way you get the role ID for the rank that you want to set them to is you want to go back to the group, right? The group specified. You want to click on three, these three dots and click on configure group. And it looks like we did get logged out ever since we set that in the glitch project. So we're going to log back into our account. So I'm going to say row scripter rank bot. And I'm going to put in the password just like this. And again, we do have to do this fun captcha. And I know it gets frustrating doing this like a hundred times, but sometimes you just have to do this. So we're in the group, we're in the group page. And now we have to do is we click on roles and these are all of our different roles. So whatever rank you want to set them to, it'll specify the rank ID right here. You're able to change it if you're the owner of the group. If not, it's just set right here and you can copy it in. So if I want to set my player's rank to admin, then I click on admin and then I copy this number. If I want to set them to member, I, cop, I, you know, I click here and I copy this number or any other rank, I could just copy that number. Uh, so in this case, I want to set the user's rank to admin. So I'm going to click on admin and I'm going to copy this number right here. The role ID is 254. And then I'm going to go back to Roblox Studio. And then right here where it says role ID, I'm going to double click on it and I'm going to paste in my number or you can type it in if you'd like. And as you'll see, this function right here, if you know what scripting is, you can keep listening to me. If not, I'll talk to you in like five minutes. Just give me one sec. So this is the function right here that you'll use to basically rank the user. Um, so anytime, anytime that we want to, you know, you can put this in a module if you want, if you're a scripter. Um, but anytime we want to rank them, all we have to say is rank user. And then we specify the rank ID. So if we were saying, so our rank ID, our, our user ID, so our user ID is this right here and the role ID is the second parameter so we'll pass on the role ID which is 254 or you can have it set up in variables like this like I did for some of the more inexperienced viewers in scripting uh, and you can just set it up like I have it set up uh, and now back so if you don't know how to script I'm back to you now you know enough coder talk from me uh, we can actually see if this works so all we have to do so let's just go back to Chrome Google and we're going to click on members and we're going to look so brown conga is still a member see if we filter by all the members brown conga is still a member in the group but if we go back to studio and we click we're just going to click play on the game because this script runs when we play again you can hook it up to whatever you want right so we're going to click play and it should have ranked him so if we click stop now and then if we go back to right here if we go back to google and we refresh just like this, right? You can see Brown Conga, remember, he's no longer there. And then when we click on admin, oh wait, it looks like it actually didn't work. He is still a member. So I actually just figured out exactly what the problem is for this. Um, so what you need to do is make sure that your rank bot is one rank above the rank that you want to set them player to. So let's say we have our ranks right here. We have admin, member, and owner. Because we want to change the rank of the of the member to admin, we can't be an admin because like this bot account, it can't be an admin because we don't want it to set, it can, it's not able to set the rank to the rank of the bot. So the bot would have to be owner or it'd have to be a rank above admin. You know, and you can configure your own roles, but it has to be a rank above the rank that you want to set it to. So this bot will work in most groups. You just have to make sure you have enough roles and the bot is set to a rank where it can control most of the roles. So just before I head out, I do want to say I know this is a little bit more of a, com a confusing video because um, it's just a little bit more complex using the JavaScript and the glitch and all the different websites. So if you do have any questions, feel free to comment them or reach out on my Discord server. We have plenty of advanced scripters, including myself, who would be happy to help you figure it out. Uh, and yeah, this kind of thing's pretty cool to make, so I really suggest adding this to your group. Thank you so much for watching, guys. I hope you learned something new today about scripting on Roblox. I have all the code shown in this video as pasted in links in the description, and I'll see you guys later.